Mason. Um, I'm going to make a video about my Bogot bag. I've got to make it quick. I've got a half hour on the phone and I have tried this before only to find that it can't take more than half an hour to show you all what I've got. A few things before I get started on what I have here. My bag weighs about 70 to 80 pounds. Um, you want to have a bag that fits you. Coming, I am prior service, I am a veteran, I do know my body, and I do know I can't run very well, but I am a pack horse. I can pack this stuff. I've done it, I know it because I've tested this bag, I've gone straight up hills with it, so it's all on you what you have. It is all on you what you put in there. You need to shape your bag to what you need, your skills. If you are really good with medicine, you need to bring medicine, a lot of medicine, what you know with you. Shape the bag to you. Now, uh, all this stuff right here, I've got backup on backup. I've got things to barter with. I've got things that are going to be useful in case you need it. Um, also, I have several items here that um, that some would probably consider you don't really need all that much. Of, you don't really need. I do because I do plan on meeting people on the way and bartering, and which is a good skill. You really want to be careful doing that especially in a situation where everybody's running around in the woods. Um, I did say this was my bug out bag, but considering I think it's more my inch bag, which means I'm not coming home bag. Um, everything I need in it to survive in the woods. Um, my bag is broken up into three different sections. My primary bag, which is my large military rucksack. I've got my rope. I've got rope. That this is a must. You have to have some heavy duty rope. I've got my my uh, camel back here. And nothing fell out. But I do have things in here to make the redundancy of just drinking water. I've got elixir pills for camel backs. I've got an extra set of shoe str uh, boot strings in there, uh, boots, boot laces. I've got something to flavor my water with. Um, this those things right there can really kind of make a day mental wise. Plus it's got electrolytes in it which gives you energy is really what something you need. Like for instance this Powerade. You can go buy these at Walmart. They're droplets you put in your water and it gives you electrolytes. These put three or four drops in your water go a long way, add a little bit of flavor, give you a little bit of energy and replace the salts and the electrolytes you missed or you're, you're losing. Um, like I said I broke it down into three bags. This is my primary. This is the one that once I hit the woods, I'm, I'm, I'm humping it with. Uh, I know I can hump it with it. I've gone straight up mountains with this thing, no problem. I don't get tired. So, you got primary bag right here. This right here, let's move this over. This is my secondary. This is a fanny pack. I can put this on my bag. This, this goes strapped right around my bag right there. This one right here, is my secondary bag. This has all the stuff I need in case I just can't hump it no more. Because when you're in the woods, you're running around two days without no, with minimal food, you start losing energy and you start losing the, you know, the, the, the strength to do it. So if I really have to cover a lot of ground real quick, I will resort to my secondary bag. My secondary bag has my emergency in it. This one right here is the last of the last. This is dire straits. This is I can't even carry this anymore. Um, if I have to, I can just put this on my side. It's got a clip. I've got. Uh, I'll show you that here. Um, go from primary to secondary to emergency, and I'll try to be quick about it. So what I have in here. Let me pick up the stuff I dropped over here. Okay, that's why this water bottle. Okay. Now, when you're in the woods and you want to construct a bug out bag, there are at least three things. There's actually four. Fire, water, shelter, and food. Those are the four things you need to concentrate on and build around. You need fire. It's a mental boost. You can cook your food with it. It, it keeps the bugs, keeps the animals at bay. It, it's just, it's the main source of what you, if anything, you need a fire. If you don't have anything else, fire is where it's at. Um, and through this, you'll see what what I've got for that. Water, um, I've got two of these in my bag. I've got one of my primary, and I've got one of my secondary. This is a life straw. This thing handles a thousand liters of water. 
EPA standards for filtration on water to get the giardia, the bacteria, the microbes out is one micron. This filters down to 0.2 microns. This I bought for $17 off the LifeStraw website. Um, they sent me one out. It didn't work. So what they do, they sent me two of them to replace it. I really recommend this company. I've tested it. It works. Um, the only thing it doesn't filter is heavy metals. This guy right here will be a lifesaver if all you have are creeks, mud puddles, and rivers to drink out of. Because you don't know what's coming down a, a river. You don't know if they're dead animals up the creek. You don't know what's in the water. This right here will keep you safe. The most important thing in the woods is make sure that you're not coming down with diarrhea or something that's going to make you sick because that's going to be your downfall. So I've got this. I've got a bottle of water. Not only that, but my thing right here has been treated with iodine water. Um, it's ready to go. I've got, good Lord, maybe about a gallon or so of water in here. So water is one of the most important things. That's fire, uh, water right there. Um, let me set these over here. I'll throw everything over there as I go through it. Now, um, I went through fire. Um, well, I um, don't even know where to start. Let's just go ahead and I'm just going to pick things up and show you. I've got talcum powder. Talcum powder, when you're walking through the woods and you're sweating, trust me, you men out there know what I'm talking about when it comes to rash. You know what I'm talking about when it comes to feet. You want to make sure you're dry. Powder is very important. Not only that, but if you're trying to maintain a low profile, it also serves you to shoot it in the wind and find out which way the wind's going. Powder is very good for that. So that's that one. Then I've got a med medical supplies. This right here, I've got big powders. I've got gauze. I've got um, iodine in here. I've got um, medical gloves. This one right here, this I just picked this up over at the dollar store. It's just a little cheapy. I mean, it's got, um, I went ahead and, this is a good thing to have. It's cheap, it's small, and it works. When you get a cut, if you get a cut in the woods, super glue is a very good thing to have in your survival kit. It'll close the wound very quickly. I've got that. I've got Benadryl pills. I've got moist towelettes, band-aids, uh, antibiotic cream. That's really good to have. So you want to have some type of medical. Eventually you'll run out of this, but toilet paper is a wonder in the woods. Trust me, you want that too. Baby wipes, in case you just can't get clean. And you, long day of hiking, baby wipes are good for just a quick field bath. You always want to have some of those. You want to make sure it's sealed in a sealed package. That way it doesn't dry out on you. So you've got that. Right over here, I've got my hygiene. I've got... Uh, hand sanitizer, which also works great for fires. If you have nothing else, hand sanitizer has a lot of alcohol in it. You can start a fire easy with it. I've got a big rubber band in case you really have an injury. You can strap yourself off. Um, I've also got my belt right here, which has holes, double holes all the way through it. It would serve well as a splint. Um, this also has, I got, you know, I've got 22 shells in it. I've got another belt. I've got another bandage. Toenail, uh, fingernail clippers, um, um, I've got dental floss in it, that's really good to have. Um, this is my military belt, I, I have this for a couple reasons, A, you know, you gotta have a belt on, uh, that's just me, that's just all the way I've always been, a belt means survival, especially one that you can actually, you know, some belts have that limited hole where you can't close them up all the way, these types of belts right here in the belt that I have, you can close them up all the way. You, they're, they're very, very um, forgiving if you're losing a lot of weight, you know, um, or if you need to, like I said, tie something off. It's good to have something like that that serves multiple functions. Not only that, but this is also my signal in the woods. I'll hang it on a tree. My friends know this. I'll take it. I'll loop it through. Just like that, and I'll hang it on the tree. And, you know, anybody else go, what the hell is that doing? They won't know that's a signal for I'm in the area, uh, although your friends will. So that's actually a little secret I gave up. I didn't want to give up, but if it means survival, if it means proper communication for your survival, then that's what it's going to be. Um, I brought copper wire. This would be great for traps. It's good for um, if you've got to jump something off, anything like that. Copper wire is really good to barter with, too, I, I think. 
these things I just came across. If you got somebody causing problems and you don't have a way to detain them, well, I've got a way to detain you. If you're causing problems with me and you won't leave me alone and I'd end up getting the better of you, you know, it's good to have. That's just something. I don't even need that. But um, I have a pellet gun in there and I don't intend on carrying it because I have other things. But if I do, I have plenty of pellets. Not only that, but it's good to barter with if someone goes, I got a pellet gun, I ain't got no pellets. Well, I got pellets, what you got? You know, not only that, but it's also made, um, I'm not sure what they're made of, uh, lead. It's good to have lead pellets because people will barter because you can melt them down in, in bullets. Um, over here, this is my more or less mental stability section. Um, one thing you really want, you want an outdoor survival book. You can't remember everything. These things save lives. If you've got a small book like this, um, the Pocket Outdoor Survival Guide. This is a valuable thing to have in your book. Search and Rescue. Um, this thing has got how to signal people. Um, it's got plain, uh, plain signals. Um, so in case you, you know, run into a plane, you can signal them. Snow shelters, building a fire. Being alone, missing person, what to do if you got that. It's got a section in the back for notes. So that's very valuable to have. Deck of cards, mental stability, keep yourself busy. Uh, a lazy mind, you will go crazy in the woods. Um, one of the most important things is my Bible. I've got a metal paste Bible right here. It's good to maintain your spirituality. It's good to maintain hope and faith. This will get you through more than anything. Um, and here I've got paper, I've got a flare, and I've also got my pocket constitution. Why? Because I believe in it. Because that's what we're fighting for, right? So I've got those. Um, I've got several different flashlights. This one's just a cheapie. It's rechargeable. It's good to have something rechargeable, although it is that kind of rechargeable. It serves no good in the woods, but at least I have it. Now for security, it's good to have a fishing line, and I've got bells. Someone hits the line, bell goes off, I know where they're at. Now for my dinner aspect of it here, um, I have my container right here. This container involves a little thing called a hobo stove. All it is, is just a piece, you can make these out of any can of can. Um, it's a piece of uh, beer can release. Stick it in there. You put your little hole on the side. I've got my alcohol. You pour it in there, light it up, and then you can actually set this right on top. I've timed it. It heats. It boils the water in less than five minutes. That's for if you want to make nettle tea out of you know the, the tips off the pines, or if you've got tea or coffee or anything like that, or if you just really want to make a nice broth out of maybe like a, a rabbit you killed or something. Um, after eating, after not going for food for a couple of days, broth is the best way to slowly kickstart your metabolism again. So I've got my, this is low key too, this is very low key, it means that you can travel and travel and travel, you don't have to stop and build a fire, you can just stop, pull this out, pour it in, set it on something stable, put it down, ten minutes later you're walking on back on your path with something hot to drink. So I've got that, I've got a flask. Um, I still haven't filled it up with my alcohol yet, but I'm going to. Um, I'm going to probably put 151 or golden grain in it. Not only that, because golden grain 151 serve a lot more purpose than just getting drunk on. Um, everybody, I think this is one of the most valuable things, too. This is a, um, I can't remember the name of it, but this opens your cans of food. If you come across cans of food, this opens it up. Um, more pellets. Yes, I've got a lot of pellets. Um, my fork, self-explanatory, scrubbing pad so you can clean it out, cast iron skillet, this is small, I can put it in the bottom of my bag, I don't mind carrying it, it helps cook your fish, cook your squirrel, cook your rabbit, cook whatever you need to, it, it handles well, that's a good bonus right there. Not only that, but they season so it still kind of adds flavor to your food so you're not eating bland crap all the time. Um, this is one of those things that I don't need, but at the same time I do. This is my scope. I, I mean, I can obviously use this to see a long way. Um, if I come a hold of, you know, grab a hold of another rifle, I can put it on it. Or if somebody has a rifle without a scope, I can barter with it. So this serves multiple pur purposes right there. Um, one thing um, a lot.
lot of people like hatchets. Obviously, you need a hatchet in the woods. Um, I don't have really one. That's what I've got this guy for. I'll explain it in a minute. But what this is, this is my old hand saw. Um, I've made me a little sheath for it so it doesn't tear up my bag. This is perfect for going in the woods, doing what you got to do. Um, cutting your poles, making your, making your uh, tents, making your shelters, uh, traps, whatever you need to do. I have two of these. These guys right here, um, this one, I, this is my constant carry right here. I'm always carrying it. If I, if I don't care where I'm at, what I'm doing, I can be at a birthday party. This thing's on my side. Um, what the beauty part about this is, is replaceable blades, so you ain't got to worry about sharpening your knives all the time. It's quick and it's easy and it usually takes care of the most basic tasks. And another thing I constantly carry, this is my handmade, uh, this is a custom design knife by Tim Spry. Um, he made this for me, it was my design and he, he brought it to life. I've got a window punch right here, I've got a thumb grip right there. I've skinned three deer without, with this without sharpening it. This is S30V steel and this is by far one of my most favorite knives. So, I have multiple knives. I have a cold steel here. This thing is razor sharp. This is my hatchet. This is my wood splitter. This is my brush cutter right here. Um, I know it can handle it because trust me, I put it through its paces in Kuwait. So that's my heavy duty knife. And I, I also have a third knife. This is my saw. This is my, this is my bad boy right here. This one, lightweight, very agile, very sharp. You don't want to come across me with this knife. Um, that's in case I lose my other one. I misplace it, it breaks, um, whatever the case may be. Um, I always, I am under the true belief that a quality knife will be a life or death. You get out there with a bad knife, you start splitting wood, start doing things with it. That thing gets bent and warped, breaks easy. You're done for. You're done for with it. Now, with a knife comes sharpening. I've got a carborandum stone here. It's um, it's very good for sharpening your machetes, good for sharpening your uh, hatchets and axe, good for putting a basic edge on your other knives if you really have to. And then I've got my uh, Smith right here. This is a diamond edge sharpener. It's good for putting that final touch on it. So I've got all those right there. That's that's that. Another thing is shelter. I've got my, I bought this for $20 at Walmart. It's just a basic kid's tent. Uh, you don't need nothing big, nothing fancy. The smaller the better. This is just a basic kid's tent. Uh, it could use a little waterproof, and I know that because I went in the woods with it. It rained and I was wet, but it's better than nothing. You can always augment with bowels or, or anything like that. So we've got that. Now as far as food, um, I bought a couple of these from Walmart. To me, they're a little expensive. They're freeze-dried, freeze dried, but hey, okay, it's good to go. It's very lightweight. Then I've also got my other foods in here. You can put Idaho potatoes in here. You can put rice. I've got, you know, I've got instant rice in here. Uh, flavored rice, actually chicken rice. Um, that's good to have. My, my buddy, he makes these. These are his own self-made MREs. This thing right here has a lot of stuff in it. Chili mac, uh, chicreole, garlic, uh, butter, rice, two oatmeal, cliff bar, apple butter, MRE, accessory pack, which has toilet paper, has the, uh, Tabasco, salt and pepper, coffee, gum all kinds of stuff, matches, uh, emergency packs, uh, the emergency pills, uh, moist towelettes, orange early rise packs, tea light candles, jelly, jolly ranchers, that's a very good thing to have, it's hard candy, keeps your mind going, gives you energy and gives you the sugar, as you're going that slow release of sugar will help maintain your energy, hot beverage bag, uh, gallon ziplock bag and a spoon, so he made me one of those. Then I've also got these cliff bars right here. These two are in two different bags because I got them in two separate areas. And then this right here is my own concoction. This is bee pollen with hemp seed. Hemp seed is really good for your, it's got the, the um, tr um, trio of the uh, acid, uh, um, the fatty uh, amino acids. And it, and it helps provide energy, helps, you pro helps provide your white blood cells. The bee pollen helps keep your allergens allergies down it helps with the allergies if you eat local bee pollen it also is energy it's natural energy trust i took half a teaspoon of this stuff and the house was spotless in like two hours later so that's also an important thing to have now over here i've got hygiene um, these are just small little hotel bottles that i've accumulated mouthwash shampoo conditioner moisturizers when you're in the woods and you're in your and you're tracking along and you're trucking along and you do anything um, mentally you brush your teeth, it makes you feel better. It 
it makes you fresher. If you get around the water and you get to wash your hair and get all that grime out of it, it provides a mental relief. Keeping your mental, keeping your mental physical focus is key to a lot of things. And then in here, I've got my fire starting equipment. I've got tea light candles. I made these out of paper egg crates with lint and wax. You put the lint in the egg crates, you pour wax over them, you can break them up into different sections right here. They are fantastic. They're cheap, they're easy, they make use of the resources around you without you throwing all that stuff away. It works fantastic. Then I've got my, my cheap cord here. It's you know thinner than that, so I'm not always using wasting that. If i got to cut a piece off to tie around something or something like that, i got that right there. Um, sewing kit, it's good to have an important to have a sewing kit, extra batteries for the things like your flashlights and stuff. Um, in here, I've got, um, this is um, um, pine, hard pine, I can't remember, but it's really high in the turpen, turpentine, great fire starter. I've also got these guys right here. It's great if you have to nail something to a tree, if you, you know, nailing a line to a for a trap or something like that. If you're trying to get a deer, trying to get a rabbit, it's good to have that. Then I've got a slingshot. This thing serves multiple purposes. One, if you're in the woods and you want to, and you want to make a trap. Let's say you want to make a trap, and you can tie a string to a rock. You can take it, shoot it over the bow of a tree. Or if you're trying to distract somebody or something, you shoot a rock in a different direction. Um, not only that, but you can go, go buy a whisker biscuit and zip tie it in the middle here and then buy you some arrows and then you've got, and then quite literally, you can take it and kill a deer with this thing. So it's great little um, bow too. So that's, that's that. Now I've got my other gear right here. I got this for Christmas. It's good to have a little shovel right here. I don't Good to have a shovel. It's also got a pick on the end of it in case you got to pick it down. This is made by Sog. Um, I got this for Christmas. Very happy to have that. So it kind of resembles the old military fashion shovels. And it's really great to have. You might come across a situation where you need to take some screws out. This is my gun kit right here, which I've incorporated. It's got basically every kind of screw and bit that you, you need. It's got the big flat flat head, it's got the big Phillips head, little Phillips head, um, hex bits, star bits, um, you name it, you might need it. Not only that, but when you got a gun in the woods and say something malfunctions on it, you want to have this. You also want to have cleaning equipment. A gun is no good if you fall into the mud or dirt and you don't have anything to clean and oil it with. You might as well just throw the gun away. So I got that. That's my primary, um, along with a few things I keep on my person. My secondary is right here. What I carry in my secondary, this goes in my primary. This is a um, Navy splint, a uh, military army splint. My secondary, hot hands. Um, that's good when you're in cold weather, you really want to warm up. I've got me a reflecting mirror. That way, I can signal. I've got space blanket. That's really great to have. Got me a little multi-tool right here. It's got everything you need on it. Uh, cord, little flashlight, all different kinds of stuff on it. It's good to have too. Um, extra triple A's. Zippo lighter. It's great to have. Um, I've got fluid with it. As you see, I've got tape wrapped around this and this. Not only is this a great fire starter, but it's also if you need it to patch a hole in your, in your wet weather gear or something. You can wrap it around your lighter, you can wrap it around this. It's up to you. This is one of those resourceful creative things. Along with that, I've also got extra lighters here. And then I've got my secondary emergency tool here. The blade's not going in there right for some reason. There we go. And then extra blades for it. And I've also got a good little pocket knife in case you need to skin up a rabbit or something like that. Um, I've got two lighters, or three lighters actually, and I've also got these. These are good in case you do find yourself in town and you've got to stay at the shelter. Well, if you've got all your stuff secured and there's just so much noise going on, you're going to want some of these to plug in your ears so you can at least get a good night's sleep. I've got that. Um, I've got another flare right here in case you need it to signal somebody. I've got uh, clippers. I've got a black and red Sharpie. 
That's good to write a message or a note to somebody on whatever you need to. Another life straw. I've got two different types of flashlight systems right here. Got bright, dim, and flash. It's good to have. But I also have this guy right here, which has red light. Most animals can't pick that up in the woods. It's also really low profile when you're traveling in the dark. It's a headband. But I've also got bright, dim, real bright, flashing. So that's really great to have. And then I've also got waterproof matches. I've got iodine and vitamin C pills. Um, when you're tracking through the woods, say hypothetically this whole martial law scenario goes down. Um, and you know they got dogs on your scent. What are you going to do? This is what I'm planning on doing. I've got, not only do I have deer smell, uh, deer pee, but I've also got raccoon pee. If you put that on there, it could throw them off. It really could. So that's one. And then I've got my iodine because we all know what's going on in Fukushima. You really want to keep your immune system up and keep your thyroid glands filled. Then uh, for the bugs, I've got Repel. This is a Max 40D. Um, it's a lotion. This stuff works for a very long time. Um, I've also got Snake Bite Kit. We are in the south in Georgia. And we all know we got copperheads, rattlesnakes, water moccasins, all that. That's important to have. Um, say, for instance, we had to go, here's another thing. If we had to go into cold weather, we all know what cold weather does to chap lips. You always got your Carmex, you always got this one. And a lot of these things you see, I've got two, three, four of. Like I said, a lot of this stuff I do back up on backup. It's important to have that, but also if I wanted to barter with somebody, I've got honey bartering power right here. And then you're nobody, in the, you're, 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 you're not going to find your way unless you've got a compass. Um, so I've got my compass right here. Um, this is really something really important to have in the woods. And I've covered all this. Now this is my emergency kit. This is in case I just, you, you never know. But what I have on here is I have my rope, which is my wristband, um, 550 cord wristband. Like I said, it's, it's through this right here, so it's not coming off. I've got my clip. I can clip it onto something. But what I've got in here, put it up here. I've got lint from the dryer. Lots of it. I've got wet start. These are other fire starters. Like I said, fire to me is very important. And I've got multiple things in here for fires. I've got this for solar fire. I can just, you know, reflect off the off the sun and start a fire solar. And I've also got this little knife in here. I've got my whistle. got this little wood saw. Um, it's very small, very compact, very easy to use. Get it untangled here. That's great for cutting wood. I've got that. And I've got my starter there. And then this guy right here, this is my fishing kit. This is putting it up here. I've got my fish lanyard and I catch them. I put my fishing line on this right here. I've got a little bitty bobber. I've got my weights. I've got my hooks. I've got my jigs. And it's all compact into this small little guy right here. So that's everything. Um, like I said, the four most important things is fire, water, food, and shelter. As long as you've got those covered, and as long as you've got those mastered, you should be all right. Um, as you see, I'm, 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 I know I'm overkill on a lot of this stuff. If it really needs to, I can make this bag go down to 30 pounds, no problem. But I, if, I, if I run out of the woods, I don't anticipate coming back. I want to be able to have exactly what I need to be able to survive and function out there. Um, a lot of this stuff really does serve multiple uses. You can use a lot of this stuff more than just what you know what it's needed for um, what it's designed for but the most important thing is that you build it around you it's your bag you're gonna be carrying it you're gonna be using it everybody's style is different 
but this is this hopefully has given you a basic idea of what you need to carry. Like I said, I'm a pack horse. I've carried this stuff more than once on many occasions in the army. Uh, 